Hello everybody and thank you for being here. I'm Laura Fernandez and I'm going to introduce the research we are working on with Nuria Ferran Ferrer about the gender gap in Wikipedia and in particular how it affects the full inclusion of intersex, trans and, and non-binary gender identities. We are part of the Women and Wikipedia Research Group from the University of Barcelona. In this presentation I will first introduce the gender gap in Wikipedia. Uh, later I will talk about the aims and methods we are going to uh, used uh, within our research. Um, then we will show some prospective results um, because this is an ongoing research so we don't have a lot to share for the moment. And to finish we will just mention some points regarding discussion and, and conclusions. Okay, so we know that the gender gap in Wikipedia is a widely documented problem. Uh, this is a problem recognized by the Wikipedia itself and also by the Wikimedia Foundation. We know that, for instance, in the case of women's biographies, they are a minority and are commonly deleted immediately or through quick and poorly argued deliberation process. We know uh, that in the Spanish Wikipedia, for instance, less than 25% of the content is women's biographies. And even less, less than 1% refers to other genders' biographies. In terms of editing, we know that the percentage of female editors is between 10% and 15% or even lower in the English Wikipedia. We don't really have data for the moment regarding other genders and non-binary genders. Uh, if we think about the gender gap, for us it's important to recognize and to argue, uh, along with Heather Ford and Judith Wackman in this amazing paper that really inspired us, that the gender gap uh, has to do with an entire infrastructure, uh, with a technical expertise that is gendered. That means that the culture of knowledge production is ascribed within masculine, western and conservative epistemologies. So the problem is deep and complex. <laughs> but, well, we, we can say that all this scientific evidence pushes in the direction of incorporating gender inclusive policies and perspectives in Wikipedia both in terms of the representation of its contents and in terms of the participation of its editors. We also know that the gender gap uh, has been mostly analyzed in binary gender terms, that is, male and female. Assuming a uh, cisgender neutrality, does that does not correspond to the lived experiences of or self-identification of part of the community. My colleague Nuria Ferran Ferrer conducted a systematic review of 98 academic papers about the gender gap in Wikipedia and she realized that only 16.7% of them utilized a non-binary approach. Another surprising finding was that uh, using Wikidata sets brings more gender diversity in research as it encompasses, for example, seven different identities in the sex or gender property and then thanks to our peer reviewer, we know that in the documentation table of the property 21, um, the allowed gender values are around 50. And here you can see uh, these values. Okay, then we also know that uh, the binary and this gender approach results therefore in a limitation for a nuanced understanding of how the gender gap affects trans, non-binary and intersex people. We recognize that the range of gender identities within the non-binary spectrum is plural and broader. And we would also like to acknowledge that trans-binary people, that means uh, trans men and trans women, are also part of the community, of course, and also face similar disadvantages uh, in Wikipedia. Following Daniela Metilli and Chiara Paolini, we, we agree with them when they argue that Addressing the Wikipedia's gender gap from the inclusion of the diverse gender identities is crucial, particularly in the era of big data, where the biases inherent to this data can result in unfairness and contribute to discriminatory applications that affect marginalized sections of society. We also agree with one of our peer reviewers when um, they mentioned that non cisgender people are often isolated and they don't know uh, others like them. In that sense, the Wikipedia could play an important role in providing both access to information and also role models. Regarding our research aims, uh, we would summarize that our main aim is to understand how the gender gap affects people who are outside the gender binary 
and also to make constructive proposals for mechanisms that can be implemented in Wikipedia to reduce the gender gap and move towards full inclusion. This full inclusion is for us in terms of content and representation, but also um, in terms of inclusion within the editing communities of the different Wikipedias. For that goal, we are going to research on three different Wikipedias, the Wikipedia in English, in Spanish and Catalan. Two of them are major, one of them is uh, smaller. And we are going to follow a qualitative approach. We are going to, to do a scoping review, that is a systematic literature review. And we are going to focus particularly on the presence and representation of intersex and trans non-binary identities uh, in the digital public sphere, and specifically in digital platforms, online user communities, and Wikipedia, of course. We are also planning to interview uh, do semi-structures, in-depth personal interviews to members of wiki projects that is part of the editing community in Wikipedia who identify themselves as non-binary, intersex or trans and we would like to learn about their gender specific experiences on the online edition and also uh, well, emphasizing on how this visibility and this uh, fight against discrimination could be uh, improved. Then we are also interested in interviewing people responsible for the Wikimedia Foundation and its chapters in Spain and Catalonia. Uh, to them we are going to ask them about the specific measures and actions that are being carried out by, by the Foundation uh, to reduce this gap. Uh, we aligned ourselves with the feminist media studies perspective and also with intersectional feminist perspective. Uh, we want to acknowledge that we considered uh, our the, the feedback that the community gave us uh, and the concerns, they, the, the ethical concerns that arise during the presentation of the project Wikidata to Gender Rescue on Wikipedia. And well, regarding results, uh, well, this is an ongoing research, so we don't have concrete uh, results to comment at this stage. But the prospective results point to the fact that the gender gap, severely and specifically, affects identities that fall outside the gender binary. And regarding discussion, well, we think that this study uh, aims to establish a, a conceptual framework for a research project that intends to utilize uh, the comprehensive ontologies of Wikidata pertaining to gender identities to enrich the knowledge organization system of Wikipedia through a taxonomy. So this is part of our uh, research and it would be a, a broader research. And that would be all for, for today. Thank you very much for your attention and we hope you have found this research interesting. Thank you.